Perhaps the most common attack secular extremists level against Christians is this notion that Christians are hypocrites, and therefore Christianity itself is some needless stone to turn over in the pursuit of truth. I think this is a great place in this video to openly and unequivocally admit that Christians do in many ways appear hypocritical. We do aspire to a standard we have absolutely no chance of meeting, and we do believe in clear right and wrongs. We have a holy text which we fail to practice in both word and deed all too often. Christians sin as much, if not more, than any non-believer. They get jealous, they get judgmental, they get angry, they get frustrated, they struggle with lust, they cheat, they steal, they lie. They run the gamut of sin like any other human being on this earth. And yet, as all Christians know, none of that nullifies their salvation, their faith, the truth, and the gospel from which it's derived. Christ, the person of Christ, came to save sinners, to bridge the gap between man and God. Christians are nothing more than sinners who simply know this and believe this to be true. When we fail to meet the standard that Christ himself has set, we are wrong. When we react to individual people in judgment rather than grace, we are wrong. But the Christian never thinks anything different. We already know we're sinners, we're broken, prostrate before a loving and a saving, sanctifying God. Trust me as I tell you this, I know this very, very well. But you see a secular extremist who tells you that you should just completely reject Christianity because those Christians, they're hypocritical. It's no more ridiculous than somebody who rejects the entire infrastructure of medical practitioners and, and modern medicine because doctors and nurses aren't always the best people in the world. I mean, it's just as ridiculous with secular streams. It was like, don't go in there and get your cancer fixed because you know that doctor, he smokes cigarettes. What a hypocrite. It doesn't take anything away from the fact that you're broken and your health needs fixed. Because here's the thing, Jesus Christ and his saving, sufficient grace is true regardless of the judgment, the sin, the hypocrisy of his followers. It's true despite the actions of many Christians and churches and organizations that might have hurt you, disappointed you, let you down. The message and the person and the salvation that's found in Christ is just as true regardless of all of that very real pain. Because you have to understand this, a lot of the secular extremists who do this, they cling to those failings, those Christian failings, those individual failings, because they don't want to have to look at the person of Christ, because when you do that, you don't find hypocrisy, and you don't find lies and deceit and judgment. You find love, you find grace, and that's the point of Christianity. Christ is love, period, end of sentence. That's true, that's truth. He came to this earth, God and man, and he did what the gospel say he did. So essentially your neighbor, you think's a big hypocrite, but wears that chain around his neck, that doesn't nullify any of the things that Christ did for you. And that youth pastor down at the church that got caught in that scandal that he shouldn't have, doesn't nullify any of the things that Christ did for you. So at the end of the day, it's just between you and your soul, and every man and woman has to face that truth. You either accept that life-breathing gift of grace and truth, or you reject it for the prison, the purgatory of self-worship. And if you want to know the fruits of that choice, you can find a lot of that on YouTube. What I hope you do is you search the Gospels. Search them for the person that is Christ. Study his life. Because when the secular extremist tells you to look at me, my life, my pile of failures, that's not Christ. I'm not good. I just know goodness. Search it out yourself. Thank you for listening. Thank you.